Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I've got my faves and fails for the month of June 2020. This is the video in which I show you everything that I tried and either loved or hated during the month. I usually start with makeup or skincare and then do the clothes last. I thought, let's just switch it up today and um, do it backwards, right? So the first random thing I wanted to show you are these press on nails. I wore these in my empties video and a lot of you guys love the color and asked about them. They're this really pretty grayish purple color. What I liked about these and the reason I wanted to try these was because they came with little tapes instead of crazy glue to put them on. And so I was psyched to see if the tapes really work. And I did an Instagram story on them complaining about how much I hated these nails because they were so thin and so flimsy. And I was like showing you how I could just bend it and everything. And then of course a bunch of people DM'd me and were like, I think you have the nails on backwards. And I was like, what? There's a back, there's a forwards and a backwards. So anyway, I was like, oh God, I sometimes I wonder how I even survive at this like YouTube Instagram game right and I'm like oh, you're right I have the nails on wrong so I quickly took down my Instagram story complaining about them I guess it's because I don't like square nails so much so I put them on upside down so that the square part was towards my cuticle and the rounder part was out and so the end that sticks out you know that comes into contact with things is the thicker um, stronger end and then the thickness of the nail tapers towards the cuticle so that it's thinner there and it sits looking more flush so when I had them on backwards I actually wore them for a couple of days that way before I did the insta story and so I did have a chance to test the tapes and make sure that they stayed on through a shower through washing dishes and all that stuff and I gotta say the tapes really work well the only thing is if you have long hair like mine and you're used to like you know goofing around with your hair putting it up in a whatever it does get stuck in your nails. There's a little space in there between the fake nail and your real nail. And if you run your hands through your hair or do things with it a lot, then your hair will get stuck in there. So if you have shorter hair or you're really good about not touching your hair that much, then these would work out great. But I think that the tapes just leave that little bit of thickness in there. That might not be for everyone. I think they work pretty well, but they're not perfect. All right, next up is this bathroom canister that I showed you in Two videos ago, it was my vlog where we went to Target and I got some stuff at Target that day that I really hadn't had a chance to try out and let you know how it was. So one of them was this canister. I just love the clean lines of this. And I love the white color. They also have the same line in black. But this, I was gonna put my Bod Pods in. And so if you haven't heard me talk about those yet, that is a single use, biodegradable, dissolvable, um, body wash that my dad makes that he's invented and he launched his company and so I'll link that as well but I was looking for a container to keep them in in my shower that would keep the water out this was taped shut when I bought it at Target so I couldn't see what the lid was like um, unfortunately it doesn't have like a rubber gasket around the edge so it won't fully keep water out and plus if you load this up with bod pods and keep it in the shower and then you're in the shower and your hands wet and you reach in the water that drips off your hands will start dissolving all your bod pods that are in there so you don't want to do that I think what I'm going to do is just put them in here and keep it on my vanity and then whenever I shower I'm just going to take one out and bring it into the shower with me separately but I just love this this is really pretty and they actually also had that I was looking at that I didn't buy that day and now I kind of wish I did and I might go back and get it. They had a vanity caddy kind of thing that you could keep the things that you keep out on your vanity. Like for me, it's my sunscreen and my toner and my body moisturizer, things like that to keep that organized. So I might go back and get that. Also from that video is this method cleaner. I've been using this for a long time, but I've been using it in my bathrooms like to clean the surfaces and stuff. And last weekend when I did the vlog video for the first time, I used it in my kitchen and I never knew what a great grease cutter this was, but this just blew me away. I was like, oh my gosh, this is amazing. I got grease off some parts of my kitchen that haven't been degreased in like five years because I scrub at these things all the time, but everything that I used on them didn't actually cut the grease. And this, you spritz it on, you just rub it with a paper towel, no really heavy scrubbing, and it just took all the grease right off. And 
And then um, since I was cleaning in that video, I also got out my shark steam mop. Let me just bring in the pictures and the little video of me using it. So when I was using it, I have the triangular head on mine. And when I bought it, it came with two different heads. And I guess a lot of people went to buy it, but now they only offer the rectangular head. And so they were DMing me and asking, where's the triangle head? And I don't know, but now it just has the rectangular head, but it's still a great cleaning tool. And I love it because it has like a mop kind of a, a cover that you put on the head. And then when you're finished cleaning, you just throw that in the wash and it works with steam. And so the nice thing about steam is that it sanitizes without using any like detergents or anything. The steam almost like evaporates right away, but they get your floors so clean. So I love that. And then I um, wanted to show you this guy again. I know I showed you this a couple months ago in another Faves and Fails, but I wanted to show it to you again because I think when I posted that, this was actually sold out and you couldn't get it, but this is a wine bottle chiller. So you chill your wine in the refrigerator and then this cover twists off and you just put your wine bottle in there and this slips over the neck so that you can uncork your bottle and pour while it's in this thing and then just, you know, recork it or recap it, whatever. But this keeps an already chilled bottle of wine really cool for hours. And I've been having quite a few like socially distanced um, cocktail things out on my patio. And so every time I serve wine, I serve it in this. Every single person that takes their first sip of the wine goes, wow, that thing really works. What is that? Let me see that. Like. I think when I get it out and I'm like pouring the wine out of this, they're kind of like, what the heck is she doing? Like, what is that thing? And this also came in a set with two cups. And I love having these out by the pool because, of course, you know, if anybody drops anything, it's not going to break. I have a stone patio, so I need unbreakable things out there by the pool. So that's a great set. So I got a couple of new pairs of sunglasses. I saw this brand on Amazon and I thought, well, let me try and see how the quality is. So I grabbed two pairs just, just to check and I love them. So this is the first pair. This is kind of like a plastic aviator style. I just love these sunglasses. They are so cute and they're nice and big so they shade your eyes and your cheeks and half your face. So those are super cuties. They come in a few different colors. I have this kind of, it's almost like a light taupe leopard print. And then the other pair I got are enormous and I love them. So check these out. These are not the kind of sunglasses that I usually wear, but I was looking for something that was really big because I was sitting outside and the sun was really beaming and I felt like I was getting a headache and my little sunglasses, I was like, you know what? I just need more coverage. Like I need half my face <laughs> covered. So I grabbed these and both of these pairs of sunglasses are under $15 on Amazon and they have the full, you know, UVA, UVB protection. So they're really great, but aren't those nice? I love these and I like the little detail on the arm. I love the shape of these. I just think they are such cuties. For such a big pair of sunnies, these are really lightweight. So I wore them a couple hours the other day and they didn't really like give me a nose ache. Like, I don't know. <laughs> What is the deal with my nose? I think I have like these weird little bird bones and even my regular glasses hurt my nose. So to wear these, I think it's because the nose pad was pretty big on these, uh, that they didn't hurt my nose was really, really good. I don't know if your favorite influencers have been wearing the knotted headbands, but mine have, and I was kind of curious about them. I wanted to see if they would look good on me, but I have super sensitive um, extra large bones behind my ears and I've never been able to wear a headband that's just you know an arc that sits like that and so I bought some of these knotted on top headbands to try and I gotta say I was very pleased with how they don't hurt your ear bones at all. I'm not sure it looks great on me. I do like to wear it when I, you know, throw my hair up in a top knot and then, you know, just put the little, oh, can I get it on there? And just throw the little headband on, you know, I think that that looks like a super cute kind of messy hairdo like that. That's mainly when I'm staying in my sweats all day. But you know, if I've taken the time to do my hair, which I really haven't today, my gosh, do I need a haircut or what? Mm, definitely need the chop chop going on here. These ones are covered with like a chiffon kind of uh, fabric, almost like a pretty scarf. I haven't been able to figure out how to wear this with my hair down. I actually just 
usually we'll just kind of make a little parting there and just put it on top of my hair and you know leave the front parts out and I actually think it looks kind of cute and I actually don't even mind how this print goes with this print. I believe the sets of headbands are like under $15 and you get 10 in a set and they're all pretty fabrics and you know you could just coordinate these with all your different outfits. They also have plain ones that you can get. So anyway, I kind of thought they were cute. I kind of like it. I'm not a hundred percent convinced that it's like me, but I'm kind of digging them. All right, so here's a funny little thing that I got. Um, these are webcam covers, and you put these obviously on your webcam. So whether it's on your iPad or on your laptop, this comes within a pack of five. You stick it on there, and then when you want privacy, you just push it over and it covers your webcam. And then when you want to FaceTime somebody, you just open up your camera. So I thought that was really clever. Um, the reason that I felt that I needed that is I got an email telling me that um, my email had been hacked and they were taking control of my account and you know unless I paid them like three thousand dollars in Bitcoin they were going to expose my pornography watching to all my friends and family everyone on my contact list and I was like this is how I know this is a phishing scam because I don't watch porn. So I was like, well, clearly they're not actually watching me search for headbands and fingernails. But I had never really taken it set that seriously that I thought, oh, I need a special item for it, which, you know, you don't. You just take a post-it note and, you know, stick it over your cam and that's good. So I just thought that those were a great idea for security. Amazon had a huge sale a couple weeks ago and I got a haul of stuff and this dress was one of my favorite things from it. I just love the colors of this dress. I love the the cut and the style and everything. It's just a great easy dress to throw on over the summer and it's under $40 normally because it's not on sale anymore. I think in the sale it was $23 so if you bought one I'm glad that you were able to get it and if you did I hope that you love it but um, I just love this one and I thought let me just show it to you anyway because it's really not that much but the thing that I bought in that sale that everyone really loved was this denim shirt. This shirt comes in three different shades. There's a light wash, a dark wash, and this is the medium wash. And in the try-on I had the shirt on over the dress and these two went really cute together and you know it was my thinking that this would be great for when you're going in and out of air conditioning because you know now it's summer it's it's hot outside but the second you go inside the air conditioning's on and at least me I am freezing so I like to have something that I can throw on and I find a denim jacket to be a little bulky for this time of year so I was like ooh a denim shirt would fit that bill perfectly and if you're outside you can just take it off and tie it around your waist and it looks super cute and so with all the casual living this summer I'm just really into basic tees I don't know what it is about this t-shirt this big Mandela print I love a graphic tee but I know a lot of people don't like words across their chest you know they don't want people to have to read them and they just don't like to be yelling a message but they want it to have something on the front and this is just the perfect like neutral thing right this one is in the color a i think which might be sold out because i did wear this in my video last friday and a lot of people loved it and bought it but it comes in five or six different colors and there were like three different shades of blue so and i don't think they're all that different from this shade of blue but anyway that's just the beautiful like lotus flower mandela shirt i love that i got this open back sweatshirt in the amazon sale it's like a post workout sweatshirt and i had worn a sports bra with it that i own but i was looking for one with really cute straps in the back so i linked this sports bra and i also bought it because i thought it was so cute i love a zip front sports bra if you guys remember back to the video where i talked about being trapped in the sports bra that you're trying to pull off over your head when it's sweaty and you're hot and sweaty and your shoulders don't have the flexibility that they used to and you're like trapped in that thing and you think you're gonna die well anyway the zip front sports bra is the way to go and i just love the straps on this and what i love about the where the straps attach and the cut of the back is it doesn't push your back flab up 
This one, the material is really soft as well. It does have a little bit of padding in the cups, but you know, no underwire or anything. And it was really comfortable to work out in too. And the last thing is these shorts that I had picked up earlier in June and had in a Target haul. And I love these shorts. I wear these almost every day. They're just like denim cutoffs, but they're like a boyfriend cut. I got them in two colors, the, the regular blue denim, and I also got them in white. These are like the best fitting, shorts and they're not too short but they're not too long either well, i have one thing in hair care to show you and then um so moving into skin care it's mainly sunscreen that i'm looking at this time of year i don't really change up my skin care too much i just did an updated skin care routine video in may i want to say so if you missed that i can link it right up here but you know me nothing ever changes uh the only thing that changed was that i'm using that red light LED and near infrared mask and a lot of you guys have been asking me when you're going to see the video on that and that is coming up probably at the end of the month. So for skincare, um, I had talked about this in the vlog video. This is my favorite body sunscreen. It's from Banana Boat. It used to be called Dry Balance but it was just replaced with this light as air and I wanted to get this and make sure that it was the same as Dry Balance and so I've used it every day since I got it and it seems to be the same to me. It's got all the same sunscreens and all the same quantities. Seems to have pretty much the same ingredients. It's got the same fragrance. This is like perfect sunscreen for me because it dries down matte but it's got almost like a really soft luminosity to it and it makes your skin look so nice like it's really hydrating so my skin doesn't ever look dry and crepey which is amazing because some sunscreens really make my skin look dry and crepey or they settle in my arm wrinkles i mean really but yeah it's true and this truly is like light as air sunscreen i just love it and so i hope if you try it that you'll love it too and then I wanted to show you another sunscreen that I had reviewed a few years ago and I really, really liked it, but then it was discontinued and it seems like it's just been repackaged and renamed. So this is by My Shell and this is their Sun Protection Sun Shield Liquid SPF 50, but this comes in three shades. So this is the light medium nude shade, and this is 16.1% zinc oxide. The tint on this isn't nearly as warm as the Ulta MD. It's a little bit cooler, but there it is. You can see what that looks like. Of course, I happen to have my Holy Grail one, the Ulta MD here, just to compare the tints and let's see do i have the australian gold sitting here i have the fair to light australian gold to compare it to as well this is the australian gold this is the my shell and this is the elta md when did that happen did you guys notice one of my nails popped off all right so let's change our assessment of the tapes to meh <laughs> Back to the my shell anyway this is a really really nice sunscreen and it's so lightweight and liquidy it actually sets up to be kind of a satiny matte finish it's really pretty this one just doesn't feel heavy at all so it's a really nice lightweight alternative all right in makeup i actually did use a primer this month that seemed to work pretty well at uh, mattifying and disguising my pores and Unlike all the other primers I've tried, when I put makeup on over it, the effect stayed at least for a little while. It didn't keep the pore minimizing all day, but it did work for probably about four, maybe five hours or so. So I only have a little sample of this. It's the Beauty Blender The Leveler, and this is a tinted primer. And I really like this one as well for putting on over sunscreen. I haven't purchased the full size of this. I looked at it. I think I put it in my cart at Sephora, but I didn't click order yet because there were a lot of complaints about the packaging on it. Anyway, I've been really enjoying this sample, but I'm not sure I wanna buy the whole thing if the packaging is a pain. So if any of you guys have it, can you let me know if the packaging really is that big of a pain or if it's like okay and worth it to buy. What really helps with the pores and one of my holy grail pore minimizing products is just a little bit of the IT Cosmetics Bye Bye Pores HD Powder. I just put that on a little e.l.f. blush brush and put it on the fronts of my cheeks and that powder really makes your pores 
go bye-bye, just like it says. So that is my favorite pore minimizer product. So the day that I did the vlog video, I was wearing this, so that was a really nice experiment. That worked well. But I was also wearing the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer. I said that I was going to come back and do a makeup check-in on it, and then I completely forgot. The day that I wore it in the vlog, I had mixed a little bit of the Dermablend Flawless Creator drops in with it. The color I have this in is Medium 10 N, and the Dermablend drops I got in 37 N. So that's kind of the combination I used. I don't have this on today though. And this I thought looked really nice in the video. It looked really nice for most of the day. This wasn't the longest wearing uh, tinted moisturizer. And I feel like this definitely gave this a little bit more body and gave it a little bit more coverage. I feel like last week when I wore these two together, I was doing my self tanning, so my body was a lot darker, so I needed to add these. Um, this week, my self tan is a little bit worn off, so I could use this just regular without having to add in the Derma Blend. And I think I like it better with the Derma Blend than without. It is a little bit too sheer, it doesn't cover as much. Without the Derma Blend, this only wears on me for like three or four hours. Overall, I think I like this product. The ingredients are good. It definitely feels hydrating. Um, it is giving me the tiniest bit of settling and wrinkles over here, uh, but nothing major. This could be really great for drier skin. The one I love for combo to oily skin is the Sephora Matte Perfection Tinted Moisturizer. This is like almost up there with my Holy Grail foundations. It's so good. So this is, for me, a much better tinted moisturizer than this. So that's it for this month's faves and fails. I hope you found the video helpful and informative. If you did, go ahead and give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. As always, I thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate your watching. I hope you have a great day, and I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.